So starting at the front of your lap, as we always do. So let's uh, stand in Tadasana mountain posture. So feet are together, big toes together where you can. Heels can be apart or drawing together. Lifting the inner arches of the feet. Shoulders are back and down, chin is tucked. So you've got length through the back of your neck and then you're engaging through this midline. So bandhas, root lock and abdominal lock, okay? And then take the hands up, close the eyes if you want. And then let's just take some breath there. So you're breathing into your rib cage and sounding the breath in the back of your throat. So this breath is number one in the practice all the time. Come back to your breath. So Sudha Namaskara A begins with a stretch to the ceiling on the in-breath. Pull your thumbs, exhale, fold and bring the hands down. So you're going to tuck your head in and then inhale and lift your chest, flatten your hands. Look forwards and come down to Chakaranga Dandasana. And then in-breath to your up dog, back bending, and then exhale to your leg. Okay, so first down dog, hand shoulder distance, feet hip distance. If you want, you could pedal those heels up and down. Draw the abdominals in. And lift the hips high. And stretch the mat sideways to open your shoulders. All the time. That Ujjayi breath. And then look up and bring the feet back to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, you're going to fall. Tuck the head in and then inhale. Reach it up. And exhale, come back to Tadasana, mountain posture. Inhale, take it up. And exhale, Uttanasana. Tuck the head in, lift the sit bone. Inhale, lift the chest, flat hands, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, chakaranga, elbows to your ribs, and then in breath up. Eyes are on, and then tuck the toes to down. So, Mula Bandha root locks on, Vidyana Bandha abdominal locks on, hips are high, shoulders rolling from ears, and we're lengthening out through the back of the body. Sounding the breath in the back of the throat. The legs are either straight or soft in the knees. Look up and bring your feet back to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, tuck the head in. Inhale, reach it up. Follow your thumbs. And then this time, straight back down, with an asana. Tuck the head. Inhale, chest lifts, flatten those hands, step or jump. Look forwards in Chakaranga Dandasana. Come to your up dog, lifting your chest and rolling your shoulders back, tucking your toes and setting up to down dog. Spread the fingers wide. Roll the shoulders from your ears. And lengthen out. So drawing the abdominals deep in. Breathing. And then bring the seat back up. Look up, inhale. Exhale, fall. And inhale, reach it up. Once again, exhale, fold. Tuck the head. Inhale, chest lifts, flatten hands, stepping or jumping back. Look forwards into Chakaranga. Inhale, thighs are on. And exhale to down. So we're going to step your right foot forwards now. And take your right hand up to the ceiling. So get that rotation going on. Bring the right hand down. Pivot your left foot. Take your left hand up. 
And open up. Come back. High plank. To low plank. To your up dog. Open the chest, tuck your toes today. Step your left foot. Take your left hand up. Stretch your right leg away. Bring your left hand down inside of your right foot. Pivot your right. Take your right hand up. And open up. And bring your feet back. High plank. Look forwards. Elbows tucked. In breath up though. Chest lifts. And into them. So draw deep in through your abdominals here. It's high. Stretch the mat sideways to open those shoulders up. So broad across the shoulders and long through the spine. Heels working the way down, drawing your chest closer to your thighs, stepping or jumping deep to your hands, look up in here. Exhale, folding again. Now this time bend the knees for Utkatasana, inhale. And then return to Tadasana. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Every time a little deeper. Inhale, lift the chest, flatten the hands. Look forwards, come down, Chataranga, elbows to your ribs, in breath to your up dog. Open the chest, tuck the toes to the now pivot your left foot and step your right foot. Come up with the hands to Virabhadrasana 1. Come back down. High plank, elbows tucked. In breath up dog, tops of the feet. Exhale today. Pivot your right and step your left. Come up, warrior 1 in here. Come back down, keep that gaze forward so the neck is aligned with the spine. Elbows to your rib. In breath up, chest lifts, and into that. So we focus on our breath now in down dog as we're building that heat. So we're looking to build heat in the body through breath and movement vinyasa. Opening those shoulders up, lengthening the spine. You're never stationary in your down dog. And then bring the feet back. So put them. Inhale, look up and exhale, folding. Bend those knees. Utkatasana, inhale. And then stand up and then exhale, fold straight away. Tuck the head. Inhale, lift the chest, flatten the hands, step or jump. Come down, elbows tucked. In breath, up dog. And exhale down. Pivot your left hand, step your right foot, come up to Virabhadrasana on one inhale, square the hips and the shoulders following the thumbs, come back down, high plank, exhale, elbows to ribs in, breath up dog, chest lifts, exhale to down. Now pivot your right hand, step your left, come up, warrior one inhale, follow those thumbs, come back, keep the body like a plank, from high to low. In breath up and exhale down. Take some breath, breathe into ribs, open the shoulders and sound that breath in the back of your throat. And then from there, step or jump, feet to hands, look up, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Bend those knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, come back, Tadasana. Mountain posture. Step or jump, your feet hip distance apart. Hands on hips. Push the hips forward a bit. Inhale. Go back bend if you want. And then fold it down. So first two fingers round big toes. Look up on the in breath. And exhale, fold. So we tuck the head in, shake the head, releasing the neck, pulling on toes, pressing on top of fingers, collarbones nice and wide, and just breathe. Sit bones lifting high to the ceiling. In breath, look up. Take your hands underneath your feet, toes and wrists to meet. 
look up in here. And exhale, press down on top of those hands, Padahastasana. Tuck the head. Deepen the stretch through the back of your body. Releasing wrists from through the Namaskara. And look up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the hips. Bandhas come up, inhale. Step or jump. Feet back together. Inhale, step your right foot. Tuck your leg, turn your right. Reach long with this right arm. And reach high with the leg. So the right hand goes down the shin or the ankle or the foot. Big toe. And open up. Breathe. Keep that good form. Breathe into ribs. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. And then on the in breath, come up. Tuck your right, turn your left. Reach. And open up. So thighs are on. That front thigh is rolling out and away from the hip socket. Toes are spread and the wingspan is stretching. And with every breath, trying to get a bit more range coming up. So we do a rotated triangle. So you make sure that your feet are in width, hip distance, length around about two feet. And then take the left hand down to the floor or down your leg. And then reach up with the right hand. So stretch up, fingertips reaching. If your hand's on the floor, you're pressing into the floor. If it's around your leg, press against and twist, come up. Turn around, set yourself up. Back foot comes around 45, swing the hips. Take the right hand down to the outside of the left foot or leg. And then take the left hand up. And breathe. Reach up with the fingers, open up through the chest, and then release. And come to the side before coming back to the front of your mat. Shoulders back and down. Step it out. This time you're stepping out longer. Parsvo Konasana, your extended side angle. So we bend the right leg and we reach the right hand down to the outside of the right foot and reach up and over. Lift the ribs. Send the edge of the back foot into the floor. If you want a bit more, you can try wrapping your left hand behind your back. Take the right hand, see if you can find it by the other hand, and then draw back up, pulling the left shoulder back, opening the chest. Breathing. Coming up, turning, left hand down, outside of left foot, right hand up and over. Stretch the edge of your back foot into the floor. If you want something else, a little bit more, wrap the right hand behind your back. You could stay there or take the left hand and find in the right. And then draw the chest up to the ceiling. Breathe. And release. Come back. Use the front of your mat. Bring those feet together. Shoulders back and down, Tadasana, step it out. So, toes are in, heels are out. Hands to hips. Mula Bandha is on, Udhyana Bandha is on, inhale. And then fold. Take your hands to the floor. Shoulder distance, look up, inhale. And exhale, fold, tuck the head in. Shift the weight through the feet, lift the sit bones high. Bring the hands further back if you can. In breath, look up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale to come up and release your arm. Turn the palms around to interlace your fingers. Stretch the arms away. And look up on the in breath. And then fold. So make sure those toes are in, heels are out. Push out through the edges of the feet so you've got a strong foundation. You're tucking your head in. Sit bones high and wide and open up through the chest and the shoulders. Bandas as you come up, inhale. And release. And come back to the front of you. 
Okay, bring the feet together. And fingertips then can come to elbows, or you could take the hands up your back into a virtual prayer. Press the palms together. And then we step it out with that right foot. Short posture, step the left foot out, so you're squaring the hips. Bandas, inhale, look up, and then fold. So we're going down directly over that front thigh. Remember to press the palms if you're there or fingertips to elbows. Thighs are on. Breathe. On the in breath, come up. Turn right. Set yourself up. So hips and shoulders square. Inhale, look up. And then fold it down. Long in the spine. And uh, open through the chest, palms pressing where you can, and then come up and release. Okay, so we're going to balance for the next couple of postures. So we're going to take the right knee up, and you could stay there and left hand on hip. You could stay in that position, standing leg strong. Or you could reach for big toe, and you could reach the leg out. Draw the leg back into the hip socket, standing leg strong. Wherever you're at, lift a little higher, and draw the leg out to the outside. Try looking over your left shoulder. Come back to the center. Lift a little higher. Maybe you could reach for your feet before you hold the leg out. And then hands on the hips, standing leg strong. Keep the leg lifted, breathe, and then come down. Okay, right hand is on the hip, right knee, sorry, left knee's coming up, and hold it there. Breathe, stay with that one, or reach for your big toe. First two fingers, press out. Breathe, standing leg strong. Lift a little higher under your nose before drawing the leg out to the side. Draw the chest open. Maybe look over your right shoulder. Come back center. Lift a little higher, maybe catching the foot and then holding the leg out. Breathe, strong, 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 and then release. Okay, good stuff. So we're gonna try standing half bound lotus. So as the previous posture, draw the knee up to that deep hip flexion. Then reach for the foot now, and draw the foot up towards the crease of the left hip. As high as you can without stressing the knee. Take the right hand and wrap it behind your back. Bind with your left arm, or maybe you can work it further down to your foot. Gaze is down and forwards. Breath, full and wide into ribs, sounding breath in the back of the throat. And release. Standing leg strong, left knee comes up. See if you can reach for your left foot now with your right hand. You're going to draw that foot up towards the crease of the right hip. Take the left hand, try wrapping that behind your back, binding with your right arm or further down or maybe to your foot. Breathe. Open up through the hips. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. And then release. All right, well done, I'm sure. So then coming back to the front of your mat, Padasana, feet together, mountain posture, inhale, reach it up. Big stretch to the ceiling, exhale, fold. So if you're feeling a bit looser now in your forward bend, then you'll lift your chest, flatten your hands, step or jump. Come down, Chataranga, elbows tucked, in breath up, dog. Exhale down. 
So we're stepping our jumping feet to hands now. So you're coming to your fierce warrior, as we did in Surya Namaskara, but now holding for five breaths. Reach the fingertips away. Sink the tailbone. Draw deep in through Udiana Banda, your abdominal lock here. Sink the heels. Gaze where it feels good for you. And on an in-breath, stand up. And on the out-breath, fold again. Draw the abdominals in, hands either side of your feet. Look up, inhale, flatten those hands, step or jump. Come down, Chaturanga, elbows tucked. In breath, up dog, exhale. Down dog, pivot your left foot, step your right. Come up to a bit of a grass and all that. And reach it up. Breathe. From here, we're going to wrap those hands behind and interlace your fingers. Stretch the arms away. Draw that back foot in. Keep the right leg strong. And then lift that back leg, left leg up and off the floor. Stretch the back foot away. As you hinge from the hips, stretch the arms away. Come back. Turn round. Release those arms. Reach up into warrior one deep as you can back leg strong hips square breathe we're going to wrap those hands behind again interlace the fingers open the chest and then standing leg strong draw that right foot up try lifting it off the floor work from your center stretch your toes from the crown of your head stretch your arms away Keep that core switched on and then come back down and then switch into warrior two. So heels are in line, back foot is tucked, breathe. Reach the left hand up, track the right hand down, reach and breathe. And then tuck the left foot and turn the right. Warrior two, neck is long, shoulders down the back. Take the right hand up, left hand down. And then bring both hands down. Either the side of your right foot. Try lifting your right leg off the floor and hold it. Come down, Chakaranga, exhale. Inhale up, dog, exhale down. And then as lightly as you can, step or jump. Sit down on the floor. Get your bum cheeks out of the way. And sitting in Dandasana. Breathe. Push the heels away, draw the belly in. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. Sitting in Dandasana. And when we can always come back to this. Take an in-breath and lift those arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, fold. Reach down for your legs or your feet. Once you're there, take an in-breath and then fold. So we'll draw the abdominals in, send it in the tailbone away. Breathe in. Keep working with your breath to try and draw that chest closer to the legs. Come back. And then we'll track the hands behind. And then from here, stretch the toes, open the chest, lift up to Purvatanasana, your reverse plank. That feels too much with the legs straight. You bend the knees and bring the heels under the knees to your tabletop. Okay. Stay with your breath. And then release. Take your left leg long and draw your right foot to the inside of your right thigh. And then you want to twist round to that left leg. So the spine is going to be directly over that left leg as you reach down for your leg or your foot. So we should be feeling a lot more open, a lot more supple now. But remember that strength. 
okay, through core and through engaging through antagonist muscle groups. So front thighs are strong here to lengthen out through the hamstrings. We release. Okay, we swap legs. So we bring the left heel in. And then we reach down for the leg of the foot. Roll the chest down, roll the nose towards the toes. Keep the right thigh strong, this soft, and the left leg to open up. Most of all, breathe. Every breath, trying to get a little bit more out. Cross those legs, take it into your vinyasa. Come back down to the floor. Left leg is long and draw the right heel in. So we're trying to tuck that heel in as tight as we can to the outside of the right hip here, up to that sit bone with the palms distance between your foot and your thigh. Take your right arm and reach it long. Take a deep in breath there. And on the out breath, rotate the shoulder in and then reach round and see if you can find your other hand or wrist. If not, you might just want to hold on to your shin, okay, or press against. And wherever you're at, maybe you're able to press and go a little bit further forwards, throwing the chest out. Breathe. Work with your body right now. And release. Okay, right leg's going to go long. The left heel is going to come in, sit tall, maybe stay there, or maybe reach that left arm, wrapping it around, and reach for the other hand or wrist. And draw the chest forwards if you can. Breathe, squaring up through the shoulders. Push the right heel away, draw the toes towards, and breathe. From here, you can do a vinyasa if you want. You could sit in Dandasana or do Kurvatanasana, the reverse plank. Okay, from here, let's take your right foot and draw over your left okay tucking it in as far as you can and then just hug that leg with your left arm sit tall breathe maybe that's enough stay with your breath or take your left foot draw it in and then twist round to your right Draw the chest right. Or if you're more flexible, you might be able to get your left arm underneath your right, uh, underneath the knee, and your right hand reaching round, binding, and loose. Okay, we're gonna try the other side. So this time we're gonna be taking the left foot over the right thigh. Okay, and we can sit there and maybe stay there. Breathe. Cool to feel that stretch on the outside of the hip. Maybe take the right foot up and then twist to your left now. Draw the chest round. And again, if you're more flexible, you might be able to wrap your right arm underneath the knee and the left hand coming round. Right. Breathe and release. So up to you if you want to do a vinyasa or sit and breathe or do reverse plank. Keep the heat going and maintain that Ujjayi breath. So from here, we're going to lie back. And we're going to stretch your left leg along on the floor. Okay? We're going to draw the right knee into your chest. 
So push the left foot away, so strong, and reach that right leg to the ceiling and reach for it with your first two fingers. Place your left hand on your left hip or thigh, and draw your head up and pull your knee and your nose towards one another. As you bring the head down, take the leg up to the right side, but keep drawing the left hip away and look over your left shoulder. So we're into sleeping big toe posture here. Breath. Come back to the center, draw the knee and the nose, and then come back down. Now we're gonna swap legs. So we're gonna reach first two fingers for the big toe of the, the left foot, right hand is on the hip. We're gonna draw the nose and the knee towards one another, and then take that leg off to the left and look to your right. Keep the right leg active. Breathe. And then come back. And then hug the knees in. Now draw your hands down to your ankles and tuck your heels in tight and into your sit bones and then peel your spine up and off the floor. Now, can you keep those hands around your ankles? Lifting the hips, squeezing in the thighs, or are you going to interlace your fingers? Or are you going to take your hands to your hips? Or are you going to take the hands to the side of the head and either push up to rest on the crown of the head or push up to your upward row? Wherever you're at, breathe. And then come back down. Hug those knees in and then roll up to your sit bones and then reach your arms away and then try to lift the legs. How far can you take those legs sitting tall? Pulling the belly in into your boot, Navasana. Stay with your breath and then come back down. Hug the knees in. Tuck the heels in, peel your spine up and off the floor, lift the hips, get the shoulders under, squeeze the inner thighs, so keep that power going there. Second back bend at your level, working towards whatever you can. Breath number one, thighs strong, power in the pelvis. And come back down. Hug those knees in. Roll up. Find some balance on your sit bones. Reach your way with the arms and try extending the legs as much as you can. Breath number one. Keep that lift, keep that length. Cross the legs. Roll over the feet. Come down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Back bend, exhale down. Step or jump. And come back down, step. Okay, so from here, make sure you've got room behind you. Okay, you're gonna lie back. So bring the knees in to the chest. So if you're gonna do a modified shoulder stand, Take the arms out to the side and push the heels to the ceiling. Keep the bandas on and try to hold this for as long as you can until you need to rest. If you want to go shoulder stand, hands down to the floor at the side of your hips. Reach up and over to plow, halasana. Interlace the fingers. And then take the hands to the back as high as you can. Draw the elbows in, keep the neck long, keep the thighs strong, coming up. Maybe try taking one leg down behind, reaching away, changing. Make sure at all times, this feels good for the neck. It should be 
a shoulder balance. We try taking both legs behind for plow. You're aiming to get these to the floor. If you haven't made it to the floor, keep your hands on your back, energy in the back of the legs. Or if you've made it, you could interlace fingers. Breathe. Then try to bend your knees and squeeze those working the knees down to the ears. Breath. Release the hands and reach your fingers away and start rolling down through your spine until you're lying low on your mat. Take some breath. Bring your hands underneath those thumbs. Okay, and then use your elbows to lift the chest, arch the spine, tuck the head back, rest lightly on the crown of your head. So, taking the head into the opposite position from your shoulder balance. Mula Banda is on, Uddiyana Banda is on, especially Uddiyana Banda abdominal over here. You're going to go further, release the hand, lift the legs into full fish. Reach, breathe. Try to lift those legs two feet off the floor if you can. Otherwise, you stay down. Breath number one. Bring the legs down. Tuck the head. Release, hug the knees in. Roll up, roll over those feet. Come down Chaturanga, exhale, inhale up dog, exhale down. Then from here, we're going to come down to the floor and rest on your forearms. So you want your elbows narrower than your shoulders. I'm going to interlace your fingers. So if you're doing headstand, I'm going to lead you to that with control, obviously. If we're doing preparation, then we tuck the toes, lift the knees, look through and push the floor away. The head stays lifted off the floor at all times. And you're creating that space between your ears and your shoulders. Breath number one. Try to keep walking those feet up, hips lifting. Maybe you can lift one leg up in your dolphin posture. Bandas, breath. Changing legs, if you're doing that. Come back and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And come back. So with control, wherever you're at, come back down to child's posture. Rest the head on the floor. And breathe deep and wide into your ribs. When you're ready, bring the hands back up to the front of the mat. Come to a high plank. Keep the body like a plank as you lower elbows to ribs. Exhale, inhale up though. Lift the chest, exhale down though. Find the zone, keep the hands. Sit down. Cross the legs. Find that cross-legged position for you. Half float is full lotus, cross-legged. Fingertips to elbows. In breath, exhale, fold. Draw the chest down. If that's uncomfortable or restricting, reach the arms out in front and fold. And then come up. Rest your arms on your thighs, thumb and forefinger, stretch the other fingers away, tuck the chin. Pull the belly in, open up through the collarbones. Focus on that Ujjayi breath now. Sounding that breath in the back of your throat, foundation of your practice. Root lock, abdominal lock. If you want to go for last challenge, hands come either side and we lift. Push the floor away. Breathe. Maybe a short, sharp breath through the nose or continue that Ujjayi breath. Everything switched on. 
Okay, we're going to take some rest. Lie back. Take some deep breaths in and out. So release and find a comfortable position. Head side to side. Deep breaths in and out. So just finding that state of rest after you've done your Shtanga practice, body is ready to surrender to Shavasana, then man's posture. Just feel the whole body releasing any tension, muscles of the face relaxing. Eyes relaxing into the eye sockets. Feeling your heart rate. Coming back down after your practice. So where you can, anytime you do a practice, whether it's a short sun salutations, or whether it's a full practice or modified, or working on postures that are important and challenging to you, then Try to find some time for Shavasa. So if you just take a deeper breath in and out a couple of times, bringing your awareness back round to the room and fingers and toes, and walk the feet up, hug the knees in, and I just roll side to side, and roll over to your right side. Before you come back round, right? Namaste.